And USC reopened its campus to students, faculty and staff this evening after a tactical alert closed the campus last night following the return of pro-Palestinian protesters. Now let's go to Carlos Soceto. He's live at USC tonight where officials are keeping a close eye on who they let on that campus. Carlos? Hey, Rick Kareen, the campus is closed to the general public. Most gates, like the one behind me, they are shut down. Only students, faculty, and staff are allowed enter entry at two designated spots. Tonight, campus officials saying that they're trying to prevent any more chaos from unfolding. A campus on lockdown. Entry into USC granted only to students, faculty, and staff. They're asking for our student IDs, and I know like a lot of older students don't carry their IDs anymore because they don't need them for dorms or anything. And then like if you have family, like, you know, they can't really have them unless they're a registered guest. As of Sunday night, there were only two designated gates open. All other gates to the campus closed off. It comes a day after the iconic Tommy Trojan statue was vandalized. The words say no to genocide side spray painted at the base. A nearby fountain also targeted. Do you support uh, the notion of the arrests that we have seen? Well, I mean, if somebody is committing a crime, I know that one of the things that was happening at USC yesterday was vandalism around the campus, and obviously that is unacceptable. Late Saturday evening, LAPD seen moving in, issuing a citywide tactical alert following a disturbance. Pro-Palestinian protesters attempted to reclaim an encampment at Alumni Park. Officials forced to shut down the campus except for residents. I think it's been very complicated. It's been very inconvenient for a lot of students. But in my personal opinion, I think it's been a little excessive. The clashes have disrupted campus life. Last week, administration announced they were canceling the main graduation ceremony due to security concerns. Those set to graduate taking senior pictures with their graduation stole. I support what's going on. I think that, you know, it's the only way to get attention sometimes, but it does suck a little for the students. The demonstration's calmer than what unfolded Wednesday when LAPD arrested almost 100 protesters who ignored dispersal orders. And tonight, officials saying that access to the campus will be limited to those two entries for the rest of the week. Those gates are on McClintock and McCarthy. Reporting live at Exposition Park, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.